Yes people, good man perfection, back again with another video. It has been a very long time, but guess what, I'm back, okay? I changed PCs and basically what happened is all of my settings, all of my pictures, a whole bunch of stuff was deleted. Um, and yeah, to cut a long story short, it was trying to get the whole thing up and running again. And it is long, it's literally taken about four hours of twiddling this searching for an old free version because i'm using and i don't mind set let's just say i'm using xsplit broadcaster right and it used to be free um without their logos now they're saying look now they've updated it and they're like right we're going to put our logos in the screen and you have to pay for us to get rid of it um so i was trying to find the version where you know the logo wasn't there um and i can't they've changed it so um but it's all good you know it's a it's a it's a brilliant program. I have no problem in mentioning XSplit Broadcaster. It actually is in the top left hand corner of the screen, but you can't probably see it. Right now that I mention XSplit Broadcaster, I want to mention someone else. Okay, I want to mention Lucy from Tropical Kitchen, guys. Check this out. Okay, so this is if you are in the acting area or West London area, and you fancy some really good Caribbean tropical food, then you have to try Tropical Kitchen. Okay. Um, Lucy caters to uh, wed big weddings, she caters to funerals, she caters to big parties, garden parties, you name it, she does it. Let me show you a little clip of Lucy herself. Uh, let's see if we can find it, if we have it here. Right. So here's Lucy herself. Right, so there you go, guys. So, yes, do give Lucy a call, okay? The number is 07956493489. One more time, guys. The number is 07956493489. You will not be disappointed, guys. Trust me, okay? Give her a call. Right, moving on to our subjects. Okay, guys, so the hottest subject that's on today, well, it's not the hottest subject. It's, it's definitely something that's been in the, um, the news on everyone's lips, so the tip of everyone's tongue, is basically you had this transgendered... Um, now, I may get this wrong, so don't bite my ear off. Um, I know it was a... It was a male that transitioned into a female. So is it what is it? A trans transgendered female? Is it now a transgendered female or is it transgendered male? I do not know. Um, well, I'm assuming it's a transgendered male, right? No, sorry, sorry. She's now become a female, so it's a transgendered female, right? So right, that's better. Trans female, right? Okay. Um, right. I mean, there's a lot of things to talk about, actually. Before we even get into this, there's one thing I want to talk about, right? So about three years ago, when I was on a, a site called Plenty of Fish, right, um, I noticed that when I was searching among the females, there would be a picture of a female, and it would say, um, Kelly, Kelly Trans, Kelly Trans. And, um, well... Was it trans? Is trans the term they use? So they use they use a term on 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 um, on the dating websites. But it was just it was just odd to me. It was just odd to me. Um, how did I feel about seeing transgendered females on on like a site like Plenty of Fish among other females? Um, It was kind of weird. It's weird. I'm, I'm from the old, and I'm trying to be as political, cor politically correct as possible here. I am from the old generation, so it was kind of weird. You know, like, remember that some transgendered females 
I'm on a site like Plenty of Fish, and this is me being honest. Yeah, don't don't look too far off on the normal females on there, especially within my age group, anyway. Okay, um, but 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 there were some like trans females, right? That really looked like there was zero effort in them trying to look like a female. So it was almost like. Wait a minute here, how, am I, how, how did this dude pop up on, on my page? Because I was looking for females. It was one of those things, like, how does this dude pop up? It was that, it was that kind of thing. Um, but how did I feel, how would I feel if they looked like females but had trans beside it and I knew they would... I suppose I've, I've just become accustomed to it. That was three years ago, four years ago. Now we're here now. Now just to come, I just become accustomed to it, do you understand? Um, there was actually one trans, actually... Like she did look like a female and I read her page and she was it was about her taking abuse a Chinese girl and it did hit it did hit home because the, what she said on there about her being human and this and that and blah 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 it was sad it, it kind of hit home it didn't didn't hit home as in oh I'm gonna tr I'm gonna, I want to go on a date with this girl but it hit home as in she's human like everyone else you understand she or he it really doesn't bother me to be honest with you um, but that's how I feel about them on dating websites. In the beginning, it was like, well, what's going on here? Um, and then in the end, it was just like, it just became like normal to see an odd trans person on there. Um, but like I said, some of them haven't really taken care in transitioning properly. And like, it's like, why is this dude popping up? But then I suppose dating websites, I'm, I'm, I won't be the, you know, I'd admit it, when I was younger, I used to get dudes coming through anyway, get dudes, that gay dudes coming through. So it was, you know, on dating websites, that's the nature of dating websites. It's kind of, it can be awkward at certain times, you understand? I, I'm, I'm a straight male and I've got certain gay dudes coming through. So it's kind of, it was similar to that anyway. It's not like I, I hadn't experienced something like that before. But yeah, that's how I feel about it in regards to dating. How do I feel about a trans girl winning a beauty, uh, yeah, a trans girl winning a, um, um, a beauty pageant now? Um, see this this I think I think personally and maybe this is just me but yeah um, like for example I know like I know like in Thailand because there used to be this program on British TV where there was this trend there was a lot of lady boys in Thailand and they're like it's 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 wrong on so many levels, but they're kind of. I wouldn't use the word groomed, but although it does appear to me like it's a fashionable thing, so they are kind of transitioned from a really early age. There was a basketball player that I really loved called Dwayne Wade, right? Um, he came over here. I think it was for the 2012 Olympics. And they had something called a redeem team, a basketball um, team, and basically he he became a super saiyan on the court, and was just dunking all over people and people half his size, and he brought back the old spirit of basketball. Do you understand? I've always liked Dwayne Wade, but I think there was a story that came up where his young boy felt he was a girl at about seven, eight years old, and I think Dwayne Wade was okay with him kind of maybe trying to transition into a girl and there was a big uproar about that like Dwayne how can you do that your boy's only seven or eight years old but getting back to the whole Thailand thing there's a lot of um there's a lot of it seems like it's encouraged in Thailand for a lot of the boys to become lady boys because it's more f fashionable to a certain degree now maybe I'm wrong but that's how it appears okay but getting back to it because they start off at such a young age with the hormones, with this, with that, and it's a big business, that is big business we're talking, you know, um, big business. Obviously, being a female in the sex industry is big business, so female sex together, we're talking money. So these, these boys that uh, transition at a young age, by the time they're 18, they've spent 10 years now turning into a female. So when they hit beauty pageants, they do look literally like females, you understand? So it wouldn't surprise me if one of those type of people won it. But this particular girl here, let's see, 
um, they were saying, like, there was a lot of people dogging her on the internet saying, oh, come on, man, how can you let something like that win? And blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I personally um, do not think that, that she should have won that, not that particular transgendered female. That's my personal opinion. And I'm trying to be honest here, because it's not about bashing people on this and that, it's trying to be honest. Um, I don't think, unless unless the competition wasn't wasn't you know that good in in the Netherlands, you know they didn't really have that many good contestants. Then I don't see how. Well, that, that's the only way. That's the only way. Some you know this particular transgender female would have won. I think there's a lot more attractive looking transgendered females. Do you understand? Um, now, having said that. That's how I feel about that. So, Thailand, we know that some lady boys transition from a young age, so by the time they're 18, they are literally female. They're not literally females, but visually, you, not all of them, because some of them are really tall, and you think, wait a minute here, that's, you're too tall. It just doesn't, it's, it's not working. It doesn't, it's not working. Do you understand? You can tell. But some of them over in, over in Thailand, you wouldn't be able to tell. Do you understand? Something like that may enter a beauty contest, and you'd think, all right, give it to her, you know, she looks slightly attractive. Um, but just giving someone a title just because it's it's this phase, this new transgendered fit phase thing that's coming in. Because remember, there's all kinds of phases, isn't there? There's like, there's phases where, it's, it's almost like movies, you might get a phase where someone like, um, what's his name? Um, Richard, what's his name? Richard Hart? Is it Richard Hart? Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, he had his phase where he was always being pushed in the movies. Um, who else had their phase? The Rock had his phase, you know? So we know that in regards to like Hollywood and how the media is, there's phases of things being pushed. Um, there might be a phase uh, of Idris Elba the black phase where Idris Alba is being pushed and everything and it might be an advert. There was Usain Bolt phase. There's all these different phases, you know, Lena the Cardiapia. Now the next phase, now it's now it's kind of like the trans phase, you know, where you're getting a lot of trans things, a lot of trans adverts and blah, blah, blah. Um, but moving on, guys, before we finish this video, how long have we got into this? So, okay, so it's only been 12, 12, 12 some minutes. Um, right, so the last thing I want to say about this, let's move on to... Let's move on to the subject, guys, of... This is, this is a hot one. This is a hot one. Sorry, guys, if I look a little bit of a mess today. I, like I said, I was just playing around today. I just thought to myself, you know what, let me do a video. Uh, my next videos, I might kind of shape, up, shape up a bit. Maybe cut my hair a little bit. Today, I was just playing around. Just fancy doing one. And you know me already, like, I am into this whole video thing, but it's not the end of the world. Like, I'm not... It's not what's on this. Well, it's not a vanity thing. Do you understand? It's more like what I'm saying. My videos have always been about what I'm saying. Do you understand? But tomorrow I might freshen up a bit. Maybe trim, get my hair trimmed a little bit, bring it down a bit. Okay. So sorry if I look a little bit of a hot, hot mess today or a bit of a state today. Right. So where are we going? Right. So let's just end this video on this because this is the most important one. Right. So. Trans people competing in sports so trans is it females competing in female sports right trans females or is it trans male again this is where i got it wrong right so a person that was born a male now transitioned into a female competing in female sports right this is the topic that's on everyone's lips okay um right so do I believe that it's fair for someone that was born a male to then step to whatever stage of their life, transitioned, and now wants to take part in a female in in a in a um in a sport with women that were, were born with female organs, female female parts, so reproductive parts, okay? Can a, can someone that was born a male with a, with a, with a penis 
Um, maybe maybe they even had both a penis and a vagina. Okay, because that that that's where it gets complicated. But maybe they were born with a penis, as far as we know, born male, um, with you know um, t test more testosterone, less estrogen, and things like that. Um, at whatever stage in their life, transitioned over now wants to become a female, and they're, and they're taking part in a sport with naturally born females with reproductive organs. Um, vagina and you know all of those can, can can what do I feel about that do I feel it's fair now let me put it to you this way I have a daughter um and I know what it's like to enter sports even before I entered the um before I even entered the the boxing charity boxing before I even entered the ultra MMA um I was playing basketball I was playing streetball and as a kid, it was just us goofing around at first, but then I was down the basketball court every single day. And when you're down the basketball every single day, you get to a certain level where, well, you, you kind of become an athlete, and then you play with other athlete ballers, and then you all kind of get better from each other. You bounce off of each other's skills and things like that. It's kind of long story short, I became, you know, a real athlete, and I became almost like a real basketball player to a certain degree. And we didn't a competition. I think that. So where am I going with all of this? The point I'm making is that I know what it's like to really work hard at something. Do you understand? Really work hard. And if my daughter really worked hard to say become a hockey hockey player or basketball player, any sport you can think of, right? Um, she worked her ass off to become even a boxer. Although I wouldn't like my daughter to do bo to do boxing, right? She worked really hard to become, I don't know. Yeah, so was, I wouldn't say MMA. I wouldn't have her in MMA, but right. Let's just say she worked really hard to do uh, maybe even tennis. Eh? We we'll say something like tennis, right? Um, although tennis is not as, as, as dangerous because let's face it, a lot, a lot of these topics that, a lot of these latest topics is, are, isn't just about transgendered male or female versus, you know, cis women or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's about the dangers that's involved as well. Do you understand? I think one woman was playing, um, what's that? Uh, beach ball. And she said the person jumped up and went the power that they hit on the beach ball um, the ball came at her at a ridiculous fast pace and injured her because they hit the ball so aggressively and that uh, such force, you know. Um, so yeah, let's get into a danger sport. So we will say, we say boxing, right? My daughter's worked really hard to become a boxer, whatever, an amateur boxer. And then she's worked for the last five years. I'm seeing her in the gym, in and out, skipping, sweat coming off of her, um, her eyes and all of that, really paying attention to the coach. Um, certain days she's injured, she's aching, she's finally worked herself up to, to a part where she could get some sort of medal um, in some sort of sport, that in some sort of tournament that she's taken part on, part in. And then I've followed her through the whole thing, injuries, everything. Um, and then she finally makes it to the end and then it's announced that she's going up against, um, a, you know, a transgendered female. Um, and then she gets in there and no matter what she throws at this person, it seems like that person has maybe double the advantage that she has, do you understand? Um, to see my daughter then lose to someone like that would be heartbreaking for me. And I don't think I could suddenly... I'm not as, I mean, this is this is where the world's gone a bit crazy. This is where it has gone a bit crazy because a lot of people pushing this or accepting it is females. Um, although from, from that's what the media's throwing out, do I truly believe that? I don't. I don't truly believe it. But the media's trying to make out like, well, look, it's a lot of females like naturally... Um, Women born with the reproductive organ system, blah, 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 naturally born females. Is it 
I don't know, X, Y, X, X. I know I can't. Now, you know what I'm talking about, right? So women that were naturally born with reproductive organs, a vagina and all of that. A lot of them, the media is, is pushing it like a lot of these, like a lot of these women are, are standing up for it, which I don't truly believe that. I don't. Because you're almost seeing every, sing, every single thing that you worked hard for being taken to pieces by this new world order. That's how it's kind of coming across. That's how, that's how it kind of feels. But, um, yeah, it's hard because when you turn on TV, you're seeing a lot of, sometimes even lesbians, um, pushing this agenda, which is pretty sad. Which is pretty sad in a sense because... Um, yeah, that you are part of the LT, LTGB community, but, and this is, this is to, to any, if, if even one trans, because I know they definitely watch my bi, my straight men versus bisexual videos, I know they definitely watch that, because one, one, one person tried to come back at me, you know, but again, they didn't come back at me of nothing, nothing substantial, let's put it that way. Do you understand? And I don't think they're going to come back at me and nothing substantial on this video either. Do you understand? Simple as, do you understand? But, you know, and Caitlyn Jenner, the reason why I never watched the Caitlyn Jenner video, because I know what Caitlyn Jenner is about. Caitlyn Jenner is not stupid. She's not stupid. Do you understand? I didn't even have to watch the video. I could play it now, but I knew Caitlyn Jenner, who is well respected, used to be an Olympic runner, whatever, is not going to jump on there. And this is the point I want to make, is that, The LGTBQ, LGTBQ community are well aware of the advantages of trans f females. They're well aware of the advantages, okay? But I, I try to put myself into their situation. I'll just explain the situation with my daughter. And I know there's a lot of people out there that get it straight away, right? But for trans people, if I put myself in their situation, and say I'm a, I'm I'm gay or I'm a trans someone that transitioned into a female, and I see these things going on, but at the same time I'm seeing progress going on within the LGBTQ community. I'm now seeing rights. We're given rights now. We're moving places. We're now being equally put on TV and um, in adverts, and the world is starting to open up now. Um, you you can't even see a movie now without what they would class as equal equality. Now, now every movie, every movie I think they, they even put it in Superman. There was a, a gay part in Superman. Very short, three second part. It was either Superman or Batman, which I didn't notice, by the way. Is one person picked it out and you had to literally like pause it at like one hour and 22 minutes into the movie to see it. But now it's been thrusted into every single movie. There has to be some sort of, even on Netflix, I was watching programs on Netflix, there has to be some sort of gay scene or some sort of lesbian. So they've come a long way now. Now am I, I've transitioned into a female. Am I suddenly gonna, I've been given a platform, maybe I walk down the road and some reporter says, how do you feel about, you know, how do you, How do you feel about LGBTQ? Um, sorry, how do you feel about transgendered females now in um, taking part in sports? I have to say, oh, um, I think it's a brilliant thing, and I think it's fair, and this and that. Because if I didn't, if I didn't, if I was honest enough to say that, right, to to go against the grain, that's my community. That's my face being put out there. I can't walk into another gay club. I can't walk into, um, you know, a, a safe haven for, for, for gay people, for queer people, for trans. I can't walk into that. So it makes sense as to why a lot of trans people, LGTB community, community is standing up for it. Because the, whoever was to stand up and say it was wrong would be setting all of this back. They're setting all of this progress that's been made back. Do you understand? Um, the last thing I want to say, right, so. Uh, drag queens going into schools with little kids without parents' consent and doing drag shows, bending over in front of little kids in, in spandex and lingerie well not not i don't know if i'll go as far as to say lingerie but um what's the word um there's a word for it like when you go to um theaters they dress up as um 
you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, like sexy lingerie or whatever. Um, you know, like that song, Lady, um, Lady Mama. Uh, what's that song now? With Christine, Christine Aguilera, uh, Little Kim, um, Lady Marmalade. Yeah. So dressed up like that, right? Drag queens, men walking into to primary schools, doing all kinds of stuff in front of kids, right? Some stuff that some people would class as sexually provocative and things like that, and then being told that it's okay. I think that again um, is too early. I think if you're going to teach kids, although some people say, oh, no, they need to be taught at that age. I don't want my daughter taught at that age. I'd rather have my daughter learn it at say maybe 15, 16. And then she has the choice to articulate it for herself. I feel when you're teaching a child that is something like three years old, four years old, those things, it's almost like, from a child's perspective, if this is wrong, then why is it, why am I seeing it in front of my eyes? And why is my parents not here to save me from it? That's how I would see it as a four-year-old, do you understand? Therefore, it must be right. So, you're realistically, you're brainwashing children. And I think that part's wrong. Um, but that's all, that's all I'm going to end this thing on, guys. I think I've spoken a lot about it. Um, go and watch this for yourself. I guarantee you, Caitlyn Jenner is going to say, listen, um, there's no way in hell um, someone that was born a male with more organs um, at any point in their life is going to take part in a, in a naturally born female with, with reproductive organs um, sport and not not stand a huge advantage, you know. And, and if, it's, if it's some sort of combat sport, then it's bloody deadly. Do you understand? It's deadly and it's wrong. And like I said already, if that was my daughter jumping in the ring, and I know her opponent's going to be, she's going to be, you know, putting pushing up bricks. Do you understand? She's going to be pulling bricks. And I'm probably going to say to my daughter, depending on the size of this female, I'm going to say, no, nah, I'm sorry, I'm not having it. But no, not my baby girl. You're not jumping in there. Um, it's wrong. Um, do I feel that these people are extremely weak and cowards and everything else? Um, would I use the, go go as far as to use the word coward with them? I would say that um, I would say that it, it's it's definitely something that's I don't know how you explain it. I don't know how you explain it. I don't know how you explain it. I don't know if I transitioned over into as into over into a female because I thought I was in the wrong body. Um, I don't know how I won't be aware of the advantages and strength that I used to have. I don't know how I can somehow, I don't know how I could step into a female sport knowing me used, me previously living as a male, knowing that I had these advantages or at least had this strength. And I'm going in there to fight someone and I'm looking at them. How can, what lie can I seriously tell myself to say, listen, it's okay it's it's all right for me to steal their glory their thunder you know what lie can i can i honestly tell myself because yeah it's a bit low that's all i can say to you guys it's it's a bit it's a bit low um it's a bit low it's a bit low um and then piers morgan done the latest one where there was a female that transitioned into a male but then decided she wanted to take part in Canada sports team I'm sure it was the Canada FIFA female sports team so she said even though I've transitioned into a male I'm now going to go and play for females and that just blows everything out the window doesn't it, it just blows everything. How does, now how does the whole thing make sense now how does it literally make sense how now does any of it make sense? And I don't want to hear some politician that that doesn't that just talks gibberish. That's just I don't need, half of these politicians. I don't know how they get paid, right? Just talks gibberish and BS. How, how I tell you how politicians do it. They talk so much BS that people just get tired of listening to it. And in the end, people are like, okay, okay. It's almost like walking into a shop and you trying to explain that you've been shortchanged. And the guy just talks, starts talking gibberish for the good 10 minutes. And in the end, you walk away going, 
Okay, alright. So, you didn't just shortchange me two pounds because blah, 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 and that t changed that, and the VAT on this, and it's, it's kind of the same situation, you know? Um, it's nonsense. You can't have a, someone that was a female, now transitioned into a male, but rather try to try out for the male sports. And they said, fair enough, they said it, look, the male FIFA team isn't gonna take this person. They're not gonna take someone that used to be a female because they believe that they're not gonna be able to keep up with the males. We're not just not gonna take that person. But at the same time, if they're transitioned to a male, they can't suddenly stop taking male hormones, testosterone, and then jump back into a female team. It, it just, it's not a game. I think, I think this is what we're trying, this is, this is the agenda that's been, that's been pushed, that it's a game. It's not a game. And, 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 and a lot of politicians are saying, yeah, it's okay. Like one day, I, I was actually watching something the other day where the woman said, listen, from Monday to Friday, you can refer to me as she and her, and then on the weekend, you have to refer to me as they or some, some nonsense like that. And like, there's just too much issues in the world for me to really be that involved and, and want to care to, to, to call you that. Do you know, to be honest with you, i just got too much going on in my own life to seriously want to spend my time trying to figure out who's who in the room and what gender is this and what that what is. I just don't have time for that, unfortunately. I don't. And... You should be intelligent enough to understand that. People don't have to waste even the percentage of their energy trying to figure out what you want to be whatever day during the week. Do you understand? It just doesn't work that way. Um, so you have to understand when some people get it wrong sometimes. If the world is moving forward and we're forced into this crazy pronouns or whatever you want to call it, then, you know... Some people just don't have the energy to keep up, and you've got to understand that yourself. That's all I'm saying. But I, um, this is my um, topic on um, the new trans craze that's coming in phase. I don't think it's going to be a phase. I think it's going to be here for a very long time. Um, but this is my, my thoughts on it. Thank you for watching. It's been a long time. Got a lot more videos to come, guys. Okay. Hang in there with me. Thanks for um, watching today. Good Man Perfections out. Peace.